De Mao laughed loudly, ha ha ha, Big Brother wants to kill them, let's kill them, at this time, the group of demons were surrounding him, if you have agreed to follow my orders, then feel this power, Tran Ca raised his scepter in front of his chest, start chanting, Tran Ca cast the weakened spell on Du Mao and his men, increasing the damage time on the target by 15%, defense plus 100 points, an attack plus 100 points, Du Mao led his subordinates forward quickly, his face full of excitement as he said, you guys, want to run, there's no way out, Tran Ca condensed power in his hand, looking at Du Mao and said, this idiot has been completely released, he doesn't care about anything anymore, at this time, Tran Ca continuously received system notifications, player Tran Ca gained attack assistance experience, level increased to 21, then increased to 22, 23, player Tran Sa's level increased to 21, unlocking a new innate skill, a demon who knows when it came from behind Du Mao, it roared and prepared to attack Du Mao, when Du Mao realized it, he could not avoid it, and he worriedly said, danger, big brother, Tran Ca just laughed and said, don't worry, I'm here, just a small demon can't kill me yet, then Tran Ca cast a new skill, and green chains appeared in his hand, they rushed to wrap around Du Mao's body, with the help of Tran Ca, Du Mao was very confident to face the giant demon, these chains were created from the punishing eye skill, used to burn the target's life, but with the hidden skill, clumsy hands, it had the effect of healing and forming a layer of protection for Du Mao, then there was an explosion, the chains were also broken, and the demons around them were also blown away, at this time, the fire caused by the explosion also burned everything, Du Mao laughed happily, big brother, you are too powerful, let me handle the rest, just as he finished speaking, Du Mao suddenly felt uneasy, he looked back and saw that the demons had rushed to attack Tran Ca, Du Mao shouted, be careful, big brother, Du Mao rushed towards Tran Ca, worriedly thinking, this is dangerous, there are still some fish that have escaped the net, maybe big brother hasn't recovered his strength yet, but before Du Mao could get there, Tran Ca used the punishing eye skill, at this time, the skill had the effect of transferring one of the opponent's high level skills to the caster, therefore, Tran Ca now had Du Mao's melee skill, Tran Ca brutally hacked the demons into two halves, at this moment, Tran Ca had become a real demon king, standing in the middle of the dead bodies of the demons, at this time, at the entrance of the dungeon, the demons guarding the place noticed someone coming, seeing someone coming, the demons hurriedly said, this secret realm has been occupied by Lord Du Mao, if you don't want to die, then leave quickly, the person who came was the white haired girl from the fairy clan just now, her name was Lai Mong Pham, as she walked over, she used her magic to investigate, there were a total of 12 people, loyal subordinates of the envoy Du Mao, fully equipped, able to fight in groups, and professionally trained, the girl approached, and a demon shouted, you are from the angel clan, get out of here, seeing Lai Mong Pham walking towards them, the demons decided to kill her, but before they could make a move, they were killed by Lai Mong Pham with one move, she moved like a gust of wind through the enemy formation, and the sword blade passed over the necks of the demons, blood splattering everywhere, standing on the bodies of the demons, she proudly looked back at the people behind her and said, it's done, let's go, at this time, the old man with white hair said, wait, Mong Pham, although you are the strongest angel in our celestial realm, you have never seen the power of that demon, are you sure? Lai Mong Pham turned back and said confidently, don't worry, no matter how strong he is, he must have weaknesses, as long as there are weaknesses, I can find them, and then kill him. Lai Mong Pham turned around and walked into the dungeon door. Back inside the dungeon, Tran Ca had turned the place into hell, where he could slaughter everything, explosions and smoke filled the air. Tran Ca held the skull in his hand, looked at it with contempt, and said, this floor is over now, let's go, De Mao replied, yes, big brother. Suddenly, a flash of light appeared, and something was flying towards Tran Ca at an extremely fast speed, Tran Ca calmly used the skull to block the attack, and then there was an explosion, but Tran Ca was not injured. Seeing the arrow pierce through the skull, Tran Ca was calm on the outside, but he was terrified inside, he thought to himself, oh my god, I almost died, who the hell ambushed me? Tran Ca followed the direction of the arrow and saw Lai Mong Pham. Seeing Lai Mong Pham, Tran Ca was filled with excitement, finally, he had found the fairy clan, he was about to escape from the hands of the demons. Unable to contain his emotions, Tran Ca immediately walked towards Lai Mong Pham, regardless of Du Mao's question of what he was going to do, he did not answer and pushed forward. At this time, each step he took released a huge amount of demonic energy, the people who followed Lai Mong Pham also arrived, and they were scared, they said, what? 
That demon could casually block Mong Pham's attack, and he's still coming here. The people looked at the demon bodies lying around and worriedly said to each other, Hey, look around, these must not all be killed by that demon, right? Tran Ca still did not stop walking forward. Tran Ca tried to put on the most gentle face possible, and then waved his hand towards Lai Mong Pham, s people. But in the eyes of Lai Mong Pham, s people, that face had become more demonic than ever, as if it was coming to kill someone. Lai Mong Pham, s expression also became unsightly, she believed that a demon like Tran Ca must be killed. Without hesitation, she drew her sword and charged towards Tran Ca, not wanting Tran Ca to live another minute. By instinct, Tran Ca also drew his sword and pointed it at the opponent, the two swords clashed, and the expressions of the two people were also very special, one side was filled with determination to kill the opponent, and the other side was filled with excitement. Welcome everyone to my channel. Here you will see a lot of interesting video retellings. I like to make videos for you and I am very happy that you like them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel also click on the bell to not miss anything.